Okay, so this is what I was making. Um, sorry the video got cut short. The camera battery died and didn't have another one. So, um, just a little storage thing for in here, in the garage. See, I made this one was the one that I was making um, for the weed eater. And then I just made a bunch of these little hooks um, you know, that you can put up here and move wherever. Um, so let me bring the camera in closer and give you a little more detail. Okay, hopefully you can see this well. Um, so this is just a French cleat style um, thing. <laughs> so I uh, just cut an angle here, and then of course this has the opposite angle. You saw, so it just hooks right over the top. And originally I made a mistake on these. I had the hook part on this second, I had the hook part on this second piece here, um, which made it sit up here. I just wasn't thinking correctly. Um, and so of course that didn't work, because whenever you put any kind of force on this, it just wanted to pivot out. Um, so whenever you make anything with a French cleat, you have to have the weight down below where the hook is. Sounds kind of obvious, but for some reason I just forgot. So make sure you do that. Um, I just made six of these. I'll probably make more and I may add another row uh, of this down below it and make some more hooks and just have this be kind of a little storage wall over here. Um, so pretty easy project. Um, these things are very, very strong. I've got the board screwed into a stud, but I mean, it'll probably hold close to 60, 70 pounds on these things here. So, very strong, um, great organization project. And uh, that's about it. So, thank you all for watching. Um, nice, quick, easy, simple project for organizing the garage that is becoming the wood shop. Um, this plywood right here is going to become a tool cabinet to hold all my hand tools. Um, I thought about doing what I did over at my dad's shop, putting the plywood up on the wall and then just making holders on the wall. Um, but I, I don't want to do that here. Um, because the <clears throat> where the attic is is right over the top of the workbench and I'm just worried that it would interfere with um, us getting in the attic and it would be a pain to take stuff off. Um, so I'm just going to make a, a tool cabinet. I think it'll be very neat. A uh, cool project. I'm going to film it of course. Um, it's just going to be made out of plywood. Uh, some nice birch plywood. So it should look nice and pretty. Um, I think I'm going to hang it on this wall that you're looking at. Um, the bench is over here, which I will show you, because I don't think that I have shown this yet. There's a video coming of the workbench. It is quite the project though, but so there is the nearly completed workbench. Um, so I have the Lake Erie Toolworks uh, Lake Vice hardware and I got it and over here in the garage it's too humid and the, the screw swelled and it was tight and it was binding it wouldn't work very well. So I had to send it back to Nick over there at Lake Erie Toolworks and he's going to machine me a new nut and hopefully that will fix the issue, then I can get the leg vise put on. Um, this is the leg vise solid cherry. Um, absolutely beautiful. So, almost got that done. Um, I got the end vise over here put on. Um, I have to do some work on it um, because as you can probably see, the uh, jaws are not uh, parallel to each other. So I'm going to have to route up under the, the bench where the little carriage goes 
I'm gonna have to route that up into the bench to kind of level everything back out. So that's on the agenda for today. Um, I just put the shelf in down here. Just also some three quarter inch birch ply um, that I stuck in there. So looks nice, very pretty. It's gonna be awesome having a shelf down there for uh, quick access to stuff. So that's really about all I got for a little shop update. Um, this is going to be the new space here. So massive workbench. Um, got a joiner over there. A little, uh, I think it's an eight inch joiner. Let's see. Seven inch, seven inch joiner. Um, so I got that, and I will probably at some point get a planer. Um, it's just going to save me so much time and um, make the work so much better. So probably get a planer at some point, and I would love to get a table saw. Um, we'll see if that happens anytime soon. No, stay. Come here. Come here. Got the dog in here with me. Um, we'll see if that happens. I was also looking at the Festival Track Saw. Um, if anybody out there knows, is would a track saw work for just breaking down boards as well? I know most people just use it for uh, plywood and stuff like that, but um, can you use safely and accurately, can you use the track saw for breaking down boards? Like if I wanted, if I had a seven inch wide board and I wanted to rip it down to five inches, is that something that the, the track saw can do easily? Um, I don't know. I like the idea of the track saw because as you can tell, obviously I don't have much space in here. And we do pull both of our cars in here, so all this space where the camera is is taken up the majority of the time. Um, I'm not willing to park my car outside, so dog ran away. And we're back. So, um, yeah, so if, if anybody knows that the, the track saw works for stuff like that, because I like the idea that I can just have the track saw and the track and just stow that away up against the wall somewhere <clears throat> um, instead of having a, a big uh, full size table saw. Somewhere I also thought about the, uh, it's like the job site saw that can fold up. Um, so I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see which way I go, but I do know that I need something for accurately ripping stuff down. Um, so yeah, lots coming. It's going to be a slow process because um, I don't just have endless money to throw around and stuff like this, so um, it will be slow, but I think it'll be a good uh, kind of season of videos for people that are in the same kind of situation I am. I was very lucky um, that my dad had the shop, that he has a nice dedicated shop, um, so I'm kind of coming into this garage shop world. Um, where space is very limited, so it'll be, it's more challenging because you have to be more conscious of um, what kind of space you have, and uh, since space is very limited, you have to be a lot more smart about where you put things and uh, organizing things, and um, so it'll be a nice new challenge. But the good thing is the bench is over here and it is assembled and it is going to be the perfect tool for the job. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll wrap it up there. I'm kind of rambling on. So thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. I have the workbench video about halfway edited. There is a lot of footage. It's going to be a long video. Not sure if I'm going to split it up into into two videos or not. <clears throat>
it's going to be long. I may just put it out as one video and you can skip through as you want to. Um, so that is coming, um, and in the future the tool cabinet build is coming, um, and I'm sure other little projects along the way. Um, I will be putting up some lights in here. I don't know if you can see them over here. I won those at an auction from my work. Um, so I have a bunch of the T8 fluorescent uh, four foot fixtures. Um, so I'm going to be putting those up in here to give a little bit more light because the light in here really sucks. I just have two little tiny um, kind of indoor style light fixtures. So going to have a lot more light and yeah, so look forward to it. Be a good learning experience for me and hopefully good videos for a lot of people um, to show them that just because you don't have a, a really big shop, you can do um, a lot of awesome stuff just from your garage. So I'll see y'all in the next video and uh, keep on making it.